ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் தட் மீனிங் ஆஃப் த ப்ராஜெக்ட் டைகர் அண்ட் என்டேஞ்சர்ட் ஸ்பீசிஸ் அண்ட் ஈகோ சிஸ்டம் யூனோ ஜஸ்ட் யூ ரிமெம்பர் ஒன் செகண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை தட் ப்ராஜெக்ட் டைகர் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் மீனிங் ஆஃப் தட் என்டேஞ்சர்ட் ஸ்பீசிஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் தட் மீனிங் ஆஃப் project day here and that ecosystem itself you know the today section we will discuss about the red data book you know what is that meaning of the red data book you know so the red data book means nothing but you know human beings you know we will destroy the plants and animals you know that is the main reason who destroyed that forest as well as that wild animals human beings only we will destroy that forest as well as the plants itself so what is that main aim of the red data book you know so the red data book it's source book which keep a record of all endangered plants and animals you know the endangered plants and animals so it's one of the record okay va so we will keep a record what record so what are the species is endangered like plants and animals so we will make a record so this record is known as called red data book okay so red data book means nothing but the source book which keep a record on endangered animals and plants okay endangered plants and animals so we have the different red data book also is available okay well, there are the different red data books for plants and animals and other species you know the still now the variety of species is available in ecosystem you know there so many varieties including plants as well as animals itself but still uh, we can't find out that names of some species okay so the red data book means i think but it's one of the source of keep a record for endangered species and animals like plants as well as animals itself that is called a red data book okay and next sub topic that migration you know already you learn about in our the previous class like grade 6 or 7 you know so that you know what is that uh, meaning of that migration that means the some species it can uh, replace from one place to another place okay wa? the move from one place to another place that is called what migration why that migration it can important for some species because of the something is not available in that areas for example uh, your fathers okay well, your father uh, they will work in the foreign in some other countries so it's one kind of migration why your father migrate from india to some other countries just to image because of salary you know in india they are not provide much of salary okay so that's why your parent migrate from one place to another place the main purpose what money okay well so this migration is common for all living organism both you know all living organism like that human being as well as animal itself okay well animal itself you know the so many varieties of animal it can started the migrate process like even the birds migrate birds fly to far away and every year during the particular time okay so the migrate birds you know some kinds of birds they will started the migrate process for the every years during the particular year they will started the migration why that birds started the migration because of the climatic change because of that climatic change 
so therefore laying eggs and weather in that natural habit become very cold and inhospitable so there are the so many reason is available one is the climate conditions and laying eggs you know and that breeding process okay and food and some of the natural reason so that way that some of the birds it can started that migration process for every years in that particular time for example like the siberian birds in some other even the fish also they will started the migrate process okay even some of the fish also they will started that migration process why the fish also they will started the migration process means because of that something is needed okay was well, something is needed so that's why that birds they will started that migrative process okay well and so say some example of migrative birds you know like this uh, antarctic and siberian cranes also is example of that migrative birds okay and next sub topic the recycling of paper next sub topic what recycling of paper you know uh, first where will get the paper you know the paper get from trees you no know, paper get from trees you know just you remember once again you know the what is the meaning of the deforestation you know the cutting it is in large area of land that is called what deforestation so 17 full grown of trees to make one ton of paper you know until in this word the 17 full grown of trees to make one ton of paper therefore we should save paper okay therefore we should save the paper in each student save at least the one sheet for paper in day we can save many trees in year we should not we should can reuse used the paper and recycle so don't waste the paper because the paper get from the trees you know the trees is one of that very important for all living organism so that's why whenever we will save the paper definitely save the trees also you should not cut the trees if you cut the trees means just you planting a new trees so then only the ecological balance otherwise you can balance and by this way we not only save trees but also save energy and water needed for manufacturing paper okay va well, manufacturing paper so we are not only save the trees but also save energy and water needed for manufacturing paper moreover the amount of harmful chemical used in the paper making will also be reduced also will be reduced you know the how many times they will started that recycling process the 5 to 7 time for use 5 to 7 time they will recycling process and the next one the reforestation so the reforestation means nothing but the growing a trees you know the reforestation means nothing but when we are cut red trees immediately what we do next you will planting a new trees in that areas so that time what will happen we will balance that ecological so the reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forest by planting new trees the planted trees should generally be of the same species which were found in the forest we should plant at least a many trees as we cut reforestation can take place naturally also if they stabilized itself so there nothing but the reforestation means whenever we will make a deforestation immediately restocking of planting in a new trees in that areas if a one marata etnumna ada balance pandrathukku innoru marata naturally so that is process is name called word reforestation so the government act some of that act okay va what act you know that in year of the 1918 you know 
so that is uh, that is called the forest act you know when was government launched or introduced the forest act means then in year of the 1918 it's very important one more question year of the 1918 so this year the government launched or introduced that introduced that uh, forest act you know what is that main aim of the forest act you know the conservation and protect the plants as well as wild animals itself okay ba so we should not destroy that forest as well as the wild animal itself so that's why the government make given of the act that is called the forest act when will launch that forest act in year of the 1918 okay so this is about that uh, reforestation so that uh, lesson over so today we will today section is very easy only you know what is that meaning of that red data book and migration and that recycling of paper and reforestation only okay you read well any doubt ask me students okay thank you